everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation. In today's video, we're going to talk about a big requested topic, the sweep. And we just recently had put up a video about the sweep leg kick, increasing that, but we're going to talk a little bit more specifically about the path of the sweep leg. So one of the things that we want to be able to do is it's going to be a pretty much a universally understood point that we want to get the sweep leg path wide. Now, you're going to notice this. If I get my leg wide and I'm wide, where's the foot? It's naturally what we call is dorsiflex, so you see the foot kind of here. Now, there's a point where it's too much and it's too much like this. So, one of the things we teach is more of the action, chain reaction, right? We look at what creates the position rather than just say, put yourself in the position. So, I'm gonna take the drill band and I am going to pop. Okay, so now we've got that drill band on and what we're gonna do is, one of the key things when we set up, now notice what the band forces us to do. We're trying to keep the knees here. So we're not going to necessarily be squatted down. See where there's no tension? We want the hips on top. We want to see here. We want to see alignment. So if you look at me from this camera, you're going to see that my knees are generally on top. I'm creating tension because I'm opening the knees and that is going to help us with the sweep leg path. Really critical. So that's one of the reasons why we use the drill bands and we advocate it and why we have them available for coaches and throwers because this is a really easy way to start feeling how to create that tension. And it makes the athlete should activate. Now here's the reality. A lot of drills theoretically should work really well for a thrower. Hey, do this, do that, they do it. But that's just not the reality. Throws coaching is everybody's got different movements. And one of the things we're gonna be talking about in some upcoming videos is the weight room and how the weight room has such a big impact, especially for our young developing throwers. We wanna develop our strength levels and a lot of the compensation and technical issues that you guys face are due to those strength levels. Now, I digress. We're gonna go back to teaching that sweep leg path. When we have this, the sweep leg is out wide because it comes around and it lands here. Now, in reality, am I going to land at three o'clock? No, okay? So, but the point is when the sweep leg is wide, it makes everything easy to rotate. So now that we've kind of set everything up and we've shown you how the band works, we want to understand that the path comes out here, it's going to come around, and you're going to see how it's moving. If the sweep leg, a lot of times people are taught kick up and kick across, now I have this linear movement. So how am I going to kick across and turn? You're going to see how that's going to create a back end. Back ends aren't good. What we want to see is keeping everything out and we want to be here so we're feeling how this knee and hip are going to push and rotate. Really, really important. One of the things people ask, and we've talked about in the past, is do we come up in pendulum? We still see a lot of athletes doing that. Look what that does. We see this and then they're trying to get the sweep leg going. This is why we have our video on trying to keep everything wide and feeling that, that circular path. The sweep leg is on the rotational path. We always talk about the left side is on the linear path, right? We always have rotational, angular, linear movement, both the shot put and the discus. In this shot put, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna get, we teach double rotation, kick that out, feel that wide sweep again, and you're gonna notice when we look at all of our best throwers and they're wide, you're gonna see how that's creating that rotational speed. Anytime you cut in, can I still rotate? But look at how I just finished. Watch me show you that again. When I come here and I kick up, see how that's gonna create a shift. So that's it. Now watch, if I kick it out in here, you'll see how I'm on balance, I'm more rotational, and my lower body naturally is going to turn into the throw. So, just to clear up any confusion, sweep leg path, whether it's the discus or the shot put, how is it gonna add distance quick? You've gotta be rotational. Check out our sweep leg kick drill, grabbing yourself some bands. These are things that are all gonna help that motion. And again, remember the thing about throwing that we talk about too at campers and people all over the world, throwing is really an unnatural movement. It takes time. Everybody's got a different timeline. Some people will pick up the movement patterns faster. Others need to do more drills, break it down even more. Again, that's what we do inside of our system. We kind of help you figure out what's the formula you need to create so that you can throw farther faster. That's always the goal. Nice. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching today. Hit that like button, give it a boom, and uh, thanks, and we'll see you on the next video.